What's up you guys? Welcome back to another vlog. The chill at home vlogs are going to be coming to an end soon because we are about to leave to be traveling for like weeks, like six plus weeks. So we only have like two more weeks of being at home and I actually skipped last week vlogging. If I'm being honest, I kind of just like forgot to film anything and then I checked this morning. I was like, oh, I guess I didn't have a vlog scheduled to go live last week, but I still think that these just like honest day in the life of like a working entrepreneur vlogs are great. If you're new here, what's up? My name is Emily. I am an online business owner. I'm a full-time online business mentor. I'm a certified health coach. I'm also starting a real estate business with my husband. So I have a lot of different things going on and today isn't too hectic of a day. I don't usually take calls or do anything front facing on Mondays, but I did record a podcast this morning. And I actually kind of enjoyed it. I don't love doing client calls first thing Monday morning because I feel like my clients need to get their week up and running before we can have like a really productive conversation. But I love doing a podcast recording and I've got the footage all exported and good to go on my external hard drive. So I actually am not going to be dealing with the editing process at all today or getting anything to my editor because I have a project that I'm working on. I'm hoping to launch a newsletter, like a weekly newsletter out to my audience um, really soon. Just educational stuff, tidbits, things like that. So I'm working on that today, chill day at home. And I actually got ready today. So you guys don't have to look at me looking crazy. So my camera's about to die. I'm gonna change the battery. I'm fixing myself a snack in the kitchen. So let's go head out there for some work. You guys know the drill by now. I don't sit in my office really unless I have to be in there. That's definitely the place where I do the calls and things. I do some work in there, but y'all know I sit at the kitchen table. My kitchen looks like a mess behind me. It's not, there's just like my breakfast, like my almond butter and my coffee mug are back there. But it is 11.30 right now and I have like, I'm gonna call it one and a half projects I need to do today and a lot of messages to answer. So I know my office hour period from like two to four is gonna be stacked. And I also got up at like 5, 5.30 this morning, which is like another thing I've been doing recently and loving, but I do tend to crash in the afternoons. So I try to stay really hydrated and drink a lot of electrolytes. I think that definitely helps. And I'm working out in the garage gym and it is very hot. I did that this morning. I didn't film my whole morning, but I already did some administrative work. And so I'm gonna dive into a project for the next like hour and a half to two hours which is why I just had a snack because I wanted to wait to eat lunch, have a little bit of a lunch break and then do my office hours. And I think it's gonna be better if I do a project now than if I wait. So I'm gonna actually go grab my AirPods, pop those in, do a few projects. Honestly guys, the last couple of weeks have been a little bit overwhelming for me just because we are about to be traveling so much and I'm so excited about, but because Corey and I are like diving into our real estate business, I have like that to do. And I also am gonna be traveling like from today, I think I'm only gonna be home four weeks the rest of the year, which is insane to say, but we're gonna be on like a six week road trip and then we're gonna be gone in Europe for two months and I also have a beach trip with my family in there. It's gonna be crazy and we're going out of town this weekend to see my sister and to get our um, global entry interview done. We're going out of town to do that. So just like, it's if you guys don't know what that is, it's like an airport thing. You get to go to the front of the line for different stuff um, because we just travel internationally a lot. So customs can be kind of a drag because of there's the airports these days. So we're going to do that. And with all that being said, I've just been having to do a lot of prep work. So like a ton of advanced filming because filming YouTube videos and podcast episodes like outside of my office is honestly just like, it's not any fun. I don't like to do it because the quality is not as good, but also it's just like a whole other layer. If I can have everything pre-filmed, then it's so much better because then all I have to worry about is doing like short form filming for like TikTok and Instagram. 
So yeah, that's where I'm at. A little overwhelming because it is a lot of prep work and I don't always give myself credit for all the prep work that I'm doing and like the groundwork that I'm laying and I'm gonna get to enjoy working a lot less the second like half of this year, you know, into the next several months. So I'm gonna dive into this project. Like I said, I, I don't know if I mentioned this in this video or in the podcast I was just recording. I don't know, but I'm gonna be launching a newsletter hopefully soon. If you guys have anything you'd like to see in like a weekly or a monthly newsletter, if it's education, tips, motivation, mindset work, etc., I would love to hear that and include that. You guys can let me know down in the comments because I wanna just provide more avenues for just like free education via email for you guys. So let me know your thoughts on that and definitely check me out on Instagram if you haven't already because that's where I'll be like announcing when the newsletter is going live. So let me go grab my AirPods and let's dive into a quick little work sesh, shall we? Oh my gosh, actually before we do that, I think in my last vlog I was working on like picture frame projects. Let me show you guys something. So I've been working on <laughs> filling this space here where I used to have my bike. Let me stand back so you can see this better. I found this little like desk hutch thing on the side of the road. It was like a disgusting brown color. Sanded it down, painted it black, decorated it, and put my two project picture frames up there. These pictures didn't fit and Corey was showing people what they were at my birthday party this weekend because we had an early birthday celebration for me since we'll be traveling. So I love it. I used our perfume boxes that we got each other as decor. So. A Joe Malone box and LA Labo box, some Nat Geo, some art that I did. And then I went ahead and actually wrote on every picture. This will focus like where the picture was taken and when, which I love so many memories there. So yeah, the living room is definitely coming together. It's a little messy just from our party, but my sister got me this amazing coffee table book for my birthday, an early birthday gift, Architectural Digest. I'm so excited to look through it. She also got me the Tom Ford book before, so she's she's amazing, so sweet. Anyway, just wanted to show you guys that. All right guys, I just had a really productive work session. As with most projects, I kind of schedule it out into one session that has multiple pieces. I use Asana for all of my tasking. Corey's talking, let me go close this office door. So anyways, as I was saying, I kind of divide everything up into like subtasks, but I'll put the whole task on one day, give myself like a time frame, and start to work through the pieces. I handle different projects different ways. The one I'm working on right now doesn't have such a sense of urgency and it's not a totally like new idea that I'm doing. I've toyed with it for a while. It's not something super major. So anyways, I got through like the biggest like time consuming piece in my opinion. I have more administrative stuff to do with it. So I actually went ahead and shifted that to either later in the week or earlier next week so that I can take a little bit of a lunch break. I have a heavier like office hours moment happening today so we need to get organized so i think i'm going to make myself some lunch i have some leftover salmon in the fridge i'm going to cook up some veggies and ideally i get done with my work day early i'm i've not been good about doing that i get up and start work really early but then i still work the full day and so that's not been ideal and like that's tempting when you work for yourself to like not have the best boundaries um but i know because i've experienced this before that i can work normal to shorter than normal days and work fewer days a week and still get everything done which is like the power of being productive so i'm gonna cook myself some lunch which y'all need to see me working in my messy kitchen and i will check in with you guys once i do that and i'm on to office hours and you guys i know these are not the most riveting days but not every day is me traveling to europe there are weeks where i'm in like prep and that's definitely what i'm in now preparing to leave town for a while and to not want to work as much even as i work at home and that's totally valid and normal so that's where we're at i'm gonna eat now talk to you guys in a bit okay lunch was so good just finished that i had a really good piece of salmon that my dad grilled last night some veggies so feeling re-energized 
I do think I'm gonna make an iced coffee for my office hours, but I have 30 minutes. I'm gonna tell you guys about a shortcoming of mine because I think that's important. So my thing for the longest time was like, I wouldn't stop and do any like other tasks during the work day. So like the laundry could be like piling up. The worst thing is like the kitchen. I'm just like throwing dishes in the sink. And then at the end of the day, I'm not getting to like relax because I'm like, oh my God, the house is like a shit show. Also, I am just, I think it's like a mental thing of like prioritizing work over literally everything, which is a mindset I'm definitely like out of a lot now. But I think that during the work day, like giving yourself a little bit of a mental break, like for me, especially to be like, okay, like we're good. We're taking a second to do our normal human things and then we'll go back to work. It's just work. I have a very, I have a very obsessive mindset about things, which y'all probably noticed already. So I'm going to clean the kitchen is where I'm going with that really quick, wipe a few things down. And then I'm probably gonna do my office hours actually in my office, just like really get in the zone. I will catch back up with you guys when I make myself a coffee. Um, I think I'm actually gonna make an iced coffee today crazy town. I might also go stand outside in the sun too. We'll see. But anyways, I will catch up with you guys in a bit. And I just realized I've been filming these like daily vlogs for my TikTok. And I just realized that I forgot to film clips for like the past entire day. So that's good. We'll see if I can salvage that. <laughs> Okay, I just cleaned my kitchen. I feel 10 times better. Everything looks so clean. I cleaned and wiped off the table. You guys know I get my house cleaned. My, um, I have an amazing housekeeper who comes every other week. So I just do like maintenance in between and she does like the deep cleaning. So I feel good. I have a few, I lit a candle. I have a few new candles from my birthday. The anthropology candles always come through. So we're gonna start burning through a few of my faves to like move on to the new ones, but I have just enough time to whip up an iced coffee that I'm gonna head to my office, do my office hours and reconsolidate my schedule. I always on Mondays, like I come in with a schedule, I do the best that I can and then I leave wiggle room throughout the week to redistribute things just because I don't like to overwork myself and I often over assign tasks. So that's what we're gonna do, but let's make a coffee first. And literally on the dot, I'm at my desk on time to start my office hours, which I'm going to dig into. Every Monday, I have a pretty decently sized like running list of check-ins that I'm doing, and I check in with every single one of my clients. So let me get into my list of stuff here. What I'm probably gonna do is go in and clean up my list a little bit, then get in and listen to my client messages. But if you guys didn't know, the majority of the work that I do in business mentorship is one-on-one -on -one or group like hybrid one-on-one -on -one coaching. There's an element of one-on-one -on -one to everything that I do for the most part. So I check in with everybody on Monday, kick the week off strong, support, accountability, all that good stuff. I think for a lot of people, knowing that someone's going to reach out to them and check up on them is extremely helpful and comforting. So I like to do that, but I'm available every day for them, you know, during my office hours to, to chat if they need to, if they have projects they're working through, sales situations, editing that they need done, that kind of thing. I'm gonna set my copy, my copy, my coffee, and clean up my to-do list. Um, the things you guys aren't seeing throughout the day is like I'm texting my real estate agent, we're getting emails coming through, various things are happening there. Um, the real estate stuff is, it depends how stuff pans out over the next like, couple weeks because we will either be taking on a huge, huge project or just continuing the search for our next project. But you never, you know, there's a lot of options going on here. Anyways, let's get into it, shall we?
still working through my office hours. I knew it was gonna take me two hours today, so I'm trying to stay focused, but I was filming for my little TikTok day in the life that I was doing, and I thought I would put you guys in it. I thought that would be cute. Say hi, everyone. <laughs> I was so tiny in that. I feel like I know you guys so much better than the TikTok fam. I barely know them. I'm trying to plug myself in more there, but it's a lot to manage. All right, and we're to that point in the day where my brain is officially fried. I'm going to try and get my schedule organized for tomorrow. Oh my God, <laughs> I'm losing it. I'm gonna get my schedule organized for tomorrow because I know I wanna wake up and like have my shit together, but I'm gonna end the vlog here. No reason to continue, continue. <laughs> I'm losing it, no reason to continue. You guys, this 5 a.m. wake up stuff is getting me. But I, there are very exciting few weeks coming up. By few weeks, I mean like six weeks coming up uh, within the next like few weeks, beginning of September time. So definitely hit subscribe, you guys. Um, lots of digital nomad type content, but I'm definitely in full prep mode right now. So that's a whole journey. But thank you guys for hanging out with me today. Tomorrow is a full client call day. So again, no reason to continue the vlog because I'll just be running around on the phone a bunch but i hope that you are having an amazing day or night wherever you're at i love you so much and i will see you guys in the next one